Hi everyone, welcome to episode 83 of the Access Noise podcast. I'm Mark Miller, thanks for listening. In this episode, I talk to one of the best frontmen of his generation, Tom Meehan. If you missed the previous episode, I spoke to Neil Hannon of the Divine Comedy about charmed life, the best of the Divine Comedy, growing up in Northern Ireland, songwriting and lots more. It's a funny one to talk about because I, you know, I was always very conscious of not wanting to sort of piggyback on other people's stories because they they were always you know worse than mine you know for me it was just like depressing news and kind of very sort of second or third hand stories from friends in school but you know we all knew what it was like growing up there there was just this sort of overarching feeling of doom the whole time you know whenever you were happy you were still kind of fatalistic in the back of your mind and so that's what i was trying to put across so check it out and if you like the podcast please subscribe and share it with your friends if you want up-to-date music news album reviews and interviews then check out our main website at accessnoise.com you can also follow us on twitter facebook and instagram search for the tag at access noise music here's access noise writer daniel lynch with a taste of what's been on the website this week. In the review section, Imelda Heher has been listening to LP8, the new album from Kelly Lee Owens. The success of Owens' previous album, Inner Song, was limited by the pandemic, preventing a proper touring schedule. Imelda says if Inner Song is a soundtrack for the ultimate night on the dance floor, LP8 is the hours between getting home and sunrise. Dark, soothing and cosmic. 7 out of 10. Pop punk legends Bowling for Soup return with pop drunk snot bread. Michael Barron says a lack of musical evolution is made up for by the band's commitment to being fun and honest. And this album ticks the boxes, 8 out of 10. Finally, some gig news, and Biaba Doobie has announced a new album and a run of shows to include the UK and Ireland. New single See You Soon is streaming now. Alderbridge will play Dublin in December, and Travis visit Belfast and Derry in August. All the dates and details are at accessnoise.com. Having come through the other side of a hellish few years, dealing with personal issues and leaving Kasabian, Tom Mayen is back. In this interview... Tom talks to me about his comeback tour, brand new music, mental health awareness, and lots more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Access Noise podcast with Tom Main. Tom Main is back. Hi, Tom. Welcome to the Access Noise podcast. Hello, Mark. How are you, mate? Very good. I mean, there's not many front men like you around anymore, so it's great to have you back. How does it feel? Um... Do you know what, uh, Mark? It, it, it's been an incredible feeling. I've got all these emotions coming back and all these feelings that, that, that disappeared and they're all coming back. And it, it's been, yeah, it's been incredible because, you know, I've been I've been away for a long time and, um, yeah, it, it, it's been spectacular. And the, the fans, the love, the appreciation, I'm so humble. Um, it's just overwhelming really um the gigs have been absolutely outrageous i mean wow <laughs> i mean geez yeah i mean i feel like i am rising again you know i can feel it i can, i think everyone else can feel it um it's just it's just great to be back on where i belong mate mark to be honest yeah before we get into all that let's go back to the start what, what sort of yeah. music was playing around the house when you were growing up well you know i mean <clears throat> Sunday mornings always sticks in my mind because my mum always put the carpenters on and there was a lot of Motown music, Motown songs in the house. So I was brought up on that music. It, but a very beautiful, a, a beautiful vibe, you know. And uh, that was, as soon as a young age, you know, I was infatuated with Michael Jackson. <laughs> and um, So was I, so was I. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you talk about mimicking his VHS, you know, I'd record <laughs> videos and then mimic every move. And it's probably why I'm here today, you know because I was so infatuated with it and how he was and I was obsessed with him. I loved him. And I was, you know, from, I, it's, you know, I think you've got it in you to do it, haven't you? You know, you can't push it on someone or, 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 or teach it. It's just there, you know? So from an early age, mate, yeah, I was, you know, my, my mind was being on stage since I was three, probably. It's, it's insane. Yeah. And what, what about uh, Michael Jackson, Motown uh, 25th anniversary? Uh, 
with performance oh, of Billy Jean. Walk. Yeah, man. I, my dad had it on VHS, mate. Richard Pride was it? Yeah, mate. Listen, I, I, I've got it. I know it all, mate. Yeah, yeah. Jacko, <laughs> mate. Yeah, man. It, but it's spectacular. And this is when he goes, and this is one of my own. It's yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Can you remember the first record you bought, you bought yourself? It was bad. Yeah, right. MJ. Yeah, man. Again, I was obsessed when I, you know. So um, it was the whole amazing having this record and at the tape as well but tape, tape tapes never worked they, they always got you know <laughs> broke didn't they, and that and uh you're looking in look, look just looking at him on the, uh, as iconic as he is on the cover of the bad album and everything about it and yeah i mean i could name that a record like that mate you know it's just it's just amazing you know smooth criminal uh, speed demon all these tunes man i mean yeah i mean i, I, I probably owe quite a lot to michael jackson than people actually realise because I was like I said I want to be a performer I want to be a singer and mm. yeah and, and and look where I am you know so <laughs> it, it, you know I would have loved, I, I had tickets to, I had tickets to see him and unfortunately he passed away you know and yeah. and we we were we were, we were going to be um we were going to be um number one for I think it was six seventh week running when I was in Kasabian and he knocked us off number one so I wasn't that bothered to be honest but you know it, it you know Tragic, mate. I remember that night we were playing we were, um, we were at Liverpool and I um, remember my brother texting me saying Michael Jackson died, you know. So, yeah, so where you were in that place in time in a moment, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like well, your T-shirt, the Verve. Yeah. Yeah, man. Rich, Rich, Richard's cool, man. Ashcroft's cool. Yeah, he is. I like Richard. Yeah, Richard's cool, man. He's good. He's a good guy, man. Absolutely. Yeah, the Verve, what a band. Yeah. And his solo stuff's yeah. great as well. Yeah, he's um, fantastic, man. Fair play to Richard Ashcroft, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd seen him a few years back at Liam's Premier. I had a good little chat with him. Yeah, he's great, he's great man. It's funny. Yeah, he is. Well, at the time of talking, Tom, you're on a day off from your comeback tour. I've seen some of the yeah. videos online, and it looks like the shows have been off the charts. How's it yeah. been for you? I, again, like Mark, um, yeah, I mean, it, I just had to get myself um, back into it, and, and, you know, because I've not been in it for a while, and it just all come back to me. Or pretty much like that, like, um, or like I said, the, the, the emotion is pretty tense. It, it's it's um, it, 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 they're there, you know, the, the, the fans are there to see me and and hear what I'm, see what I'm like, and and you know, I think I'm better than ever was, Mark. I really do mm-hmm. believe that as well. Um, I've got a sense of freedom around me. I've got a great, a great band behind me, amazing bands amazing band that you know that have, have come into this with me and um you know it, it, the gigs have been like like i never went away mate mm-hmm. literally were you nervous about doing the first show yeah of course yeah i mean yeah i was, I was shitting myself you know what i mean <laughs> so uh fucking hell yeah can i swear mark because it's too late go, go ahead go ahead <laughs> oh yeah i was fucking shitting myself eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah i was petrified mate you know but as soon as i got as soon as i got the first one done and i got the bearings and i, and I, I was and I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone, mate. I'm gone. And the old moves were coming back, were they? Yeah, mate. You know some new ones. You know, <laughs> but um, you know, I just, it, I just feel so good on about everything. You know, in life in general. You know, I married my partner Vicky. Um, I have got four beautiful girls. I've got three beautiful cats. <laughs> you know, <laughs> life's good, man. You know, um, everything's all right, man. You know, everything's good. Well, um, among- and, I, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm very grateful. You know, um and humble uh, to be given a chance to do what I do. Well, among among your new solo stuff, you're doing the, the classic Kasamian tracks. How does it feel sending those songs again? Well, you know, obviously, like, you know, I've had to, we've had to look at them and see what we can do with them. I was trying to make them my own, you know, which they because they, they, they belong to me as much as they do them, you know, because that's my legacy as well, you know. Yeah. So, uh, uh, um. But it feels good doing them. It feels and it feels right doing them. And, it, and yeah, and so, and so I should be doing them as well. Yeah, I think it's great, and I think it's the real deal as well. You know, so when when did you decide? Right, that's it. I'm going to start writing my own songs. I'm going to do this by myself. When when just, did you think? When was the time right for you? Well, you know, it's always been it's always been on my brain for years, Mark. You know, and you know, um, I was trying to try to. Um, to do my thing and just do something and I've had you know because and being in a band and there was a songwriter writing songs for me you know um, and it was great and all that but I just thought was, you know let, let, let me have a go and, and, and 
I've just it's been on my mind that, and I thought I'm going to pick myself up from this situation and you know and, and get my head down and start go really deep on these songs and write them with, with these great people I'm with Banan and Gareth that are fantastic and they got me they read it and we went for it together and yeah and the time felt right what was the first song you wrote and you went right would you I'm mind, on the right would track you mind? well it was would you mind but the second way it was, it was the first track was um, put a song called put your foot down which is no one's heard yet yeah. which is absolutely yeah it's pretty amazing Amazing rock pop song it is, yeah. I, I'll never forget the first time I heard Would You Mind? It was a Friday yeah. night. I was having a few drinks. I was flicking through YouTube and the scene, Tom, me and Would You Mind? I didn't know you had anything out. And I stuck it on. It's such a simple video, but the song and and and, and the emotion, it just blew me away. And it, it nearly brought a tear to me. I, you know, listening to it and watching the video, it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, that 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 was really, really hard to actually sing in the studio because, you know, again, the emotions are there. I felt um, it's about, you know, about me being in a dark place and calling out, you know, and, you know, as well, you know, I, I think it's I had to get it off my chest and, you know, um, you know, just get it, get it, get it out of the system, you know, and put it into a song what I've been thinking and feeling for a long, long time. And and it it reminds me of the U2 song, One. It's that, it's yeah. that power. And I do, I've been doing it at the gigs and it's massive. It's bigger than I thought it'd be. It's big. It's really, And it's not only that, it, it's, it's showing my vulnerability, you yeah. know, and showing that I'm just normal, you know, and these things happen, you know. And, and not only that, it's a great fucking song, yeah. you know. Right. It's a belter and it raises awareness for mental health, which is good. Well, yeah, man, because, you know, I'm, I, was, I was talking about this the other day, you know, with a band and I was saying, my mate Keith Flint, he didn't make it, you know, and um, and I did. I got through and, um, it, I, you know, it, it's a it's thing, you know, it's a positive thing for people to be aware of this situation and when, you're in the, when you're in a dark place, you know, and to speak out and stuff, you know, because I was in a real bad place, you know, I was, I was you know, I was buried in the fucking ground, you know, mm. and you know I had to fucking pull myself back out of the fucking soil and come back to earth again. And yeah, that that and as long as people take positives from it and you know and be aware of it, you know, and it's good. I think it's a great thing. Latest track, Let It Ride. It's a belter. What, what can you tell me about that song? Let it ride. I mean, listen, it's got everything you want, mate. It, it's just like Led Zepp in it, but like, but sex set. It, it's um. It's the groove. It's everything about it. It's the power. It's it's it, it's it's electrifying. It hits your eardrums. It when we're in the studio and we when I put it through the speakers and it kicked in. That, that's when it hit home. I think the song's amazing. I think it's you know one of the best best songs I've heard in years. Obviously, because I've written it, of course, <laughs> and that was my mates and that. But um, yeah, let it ride. I'm again, you know, I'm really proud of my work. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, when you're hearing those songs, you know, how do you, are you feel? In the, that, I wrote that, that. That's my song. I feel great. I feel fun. It makes me feel great, man. And, you know, and I've always had it in there, you know, mm-hmm. but now I've been given the proper chance to do it, you know. When you were in Kasabian, did you ever try and put songs forward? It was all, It was never like that kind of thing because, you know, it was always a very much controlled thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I do my thing and Search does his thing. But in the end, you know, what happens is if you want ideas, you can't express it, then it becomes, I, I don't suppose, not rotten to the core or anything. I just couldn't express myself anymore, you know. Mm-hmm. So there's been this dancing monkey all the time, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and how, how are you adjusting to life as a solo artist? I love it. It's the greatest thing ever, especially watching everyone drip with fear. <laughs> <laughs> watching everyone, everyone's coming back now, isn't they? you know. And everyone thought I was dead, right? Dead. And I'm not far from it, mate. So you're resurrected. I am resurrected, massively resurrected, mate. And my wings are coming out now. You yeah. can just behind me, can you see them? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very similar situation that you have as Liam Gallagher had with, with Oasis. Yeah, but I'm, I think mine was a bit more sincere than Gallagher, wasn't it? You know, that was, yeah. this was a bit more deeper than Liam Gallagher and Noel Gallagher. It's a lot more, it's a different story, isn't it? Completely. But yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah. But the uh, thing is with Liam as well. Again, everyone kind of looks on him. He's like, "Oh, he, what he was. Look at him now. Look what yeah, that, he's that's, doing. What he's fine. that's what and I meant. That's what I think. And I think. And I fair play to Liam. I think that's fantastic. And he's done it. And he's done it on his own. And I love that. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And I love him as well. You know. So um, yeah, it's cool. Well, online there's five Bannon Tom Main tracks out there. When's the album coming out? 
Mark, you know what, mate? I couldn't really tell you. I mean, I reckon late, late, late um, summer or uh, August time, mate. I think we've got a few things to do in the studio on certain tracks that we've got to finalise, but I think it's going to be your autumn release, I reckon, Mark. Yeah. No, look forward to hearing it. Is it the subject matter the same vein as the, the previous tracks you, you've released so far? Yeah, it, it's all in the same vein, mate. So, yeah, I mean, some amazing tunes. You wait till you put your foot down, you know. It's about like, you know, me and my missus driving down to Cornwall and stepping on it, you know, and just the, the feeling of being liberated and being free. Um, you know, it's, it's got everything you want, mate, you know, and more. Yeah. <laughs> what what uh, what new songs are getting the best reaction live? I think you touched on it before you mind. I mean, would, I mean, would you mind? It's great. I mean, they're all get Icarus, you know, they're all they're all they're all got their own place in the set that sit nicely. And the reaction from the fans is it's just good. It's nice to hear them sing back my songs, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I've seen the videos online. It's yeah, just, I mean, it's, it's been pretty amazing. emotional in its bit and uh, really fantastic what's happening, mate. And so, you know, like I said, I'm 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 I'm, I'm very uh, like I said, humble and um be grateful, you know, to be doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Well, you enjoy again. Yeah, well, again, it's great to have yeah. you back. I mean, you enjoyed Thanks, huge, man. huge success, huge success with Kazabian for over 20 yeah. years. Look, what was your highlights from that time? Oh, I mean, look, man, I, listen, I, I, I love them boys, right? And I've got no malice whatsoever. Um, um, I've had some amazing times. I headlined Glastonbury. I've got my medals, mate. My medals are everywhere. My, my, my cabinet's full of medals, mate. So I ain't got to mm-hmm. prove anything. You know, I've done it. I've been there and done it. Glastonbury was amazing. Um, Victoria Park was uh, amazing. I think for me, like, uh, there's Red and Leeds. I keep bringing them off. But I've, got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got medals everywhere, mate. You know what I mean? The gold, the first, mate. The first. I come first every time. Mm-hmm. I'd say... For me, for me, the magic moments for me was getting doing top of the pops and things like that, and thinking we're a rock and roll band, and getting in a little tour bus and being scuzzy and scru- scruffy and and, and, and and breaking breaking our backs to, to, to be these rock stars we inspired to be. The mm-hmm. chasing it was wonderful, and I've got so many amazing memories with, with, with me and uh, with and them boys. So, and you know, um, like I said, I've got no malice whatsoever. You know. Um, it is what it is and life goes on and I've got amazing memories, you know. That's mm-hmm. amazing times, some of the greatest times of my life. But the thing is, you're always going to get asked, are you going to join Kasabian down the line again? Well, you know, never say never, but it just depends on it. It's over to them, isn't it? It's not down to me, is it? You know, so but I'm doing my thing and you know what? I've got a rocket, so I'm okay at the minute. It's fine by me. <laughs> what, what's your ambitions for your solo project? What do you want to achieve? Just keep going and going and going and going until I get to the top of Mount Everest again, and I'll get there. Don't get, don't give me, just give me a little while, and I'll be there. Don't you worry. Well, you're 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 in the middle of a, a short UK tour. Do you have uh, plans to move beyond the UK and into Europe? Yeah, we're going to go America? South America. We're going to Japan. We're going to Australia. We're going to Europe. We're going all over, mate. We're taking it everywhere. Listen, I've listen. I've got my, I've got, I've got, I've, I've got. What's the word? Not mojo, because that's cheesy as fuck, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I've, I've, I'm back, mate. I'm back, and I'm, I'm ready. So Yeah, and it's great to have you back. Um, Thanks, mate. Here's one for you. In 2011, what? you took your yeah. first acting role as Terry Graham in the sitcom pilot Walk Like a Panther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, ha- do you have any plans of the acting in the future? I got asked this earlier. Um, you know, if EastEnders call me, then I might <laughs> <laughs> have a stint on EastEnders. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? You know, but hanging around with Mitchell and that'd be hilarious. Mm-hmm. But, you know, no, I mean, it, it, it was something for me to do to probably keep me occupied and, you know, be, you know, uh, and it is what it is. You know, I'm, I, I do what I do, you know, and if someone wants to do a bit of acting or whatever it is, you know, it'd be great. Yeah, maybe one day, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe be a life story. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Um, just a few more questions, Tom. I like to ask my guests the following questions. Go on. Out of all the albums in your collection, who do you have the most records by? Beatles. Beatles. Yeah, about that. Yeah. And if it's just biblical, it's, it's just yeah, you know it and I know it. You know it and I know it. So you know. Yeah. What would what would be your favorite Beatles album? Oh God, Jesus. Uh White Album. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just too many, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I could say rubber soul revolver, I could say help, I could say Sergeant Pepper. Say let it be, you know, it, it, Abbey Road. You keep going, Beatles mm-hmm. for sale, hard days, mm-hmm. night. It's ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. 
Match um, finished, be tour. Yeah. <laughs> that's my that, that, that's my favorite. I love it. It's pretty. It's, a, it's pretty outstanding. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah. But as you say, you can't pick one really. You can't, man. You know, because well, the, the Bible of music, and so you know, of rock and roll, they, they invented everything and more. Mm. You yeah. know. Well, what have you been listening to recently that you could recommend? What do I recommend? I like Jack White's new record. It's outrageous. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love Jack mm. White. Um, he, I mean, I heard his single that um, "Taking Me Back." It blew my mind. Outrageous. He's so good. There's so much, so much good music out there. There's too much music as well. Yeah. There's so much, so much shit as well. You know, but you know, it is what it is. People yeah. will always buy shit, won't they? <laughs> Guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures, mate. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, what's next in the immediate future? I know you're gonna you have some more shows to play. What, what are you doing after that? Uh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna um gather my thoughts, see where we can take take this mother ship and um you know take it to the to the rest of the world, you know. So that that's what's gonna happen next. Now 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 I've now I've got my bearings and I've got my feet on the stage. I'm okay now. I actually I'm fucking unstoppable in a minute, so yeah. watch out. Yeah. <laughs> it, is it what you, is it more than you would expect this comeback? It's big, it's big, mate. Yeah. I mean, look, it, I say it's big, it's big, yeah. You like it, Mark, anyway. No, I mean, I'm over the moon that you're back. No, honestly. thanks, man. It, it, honestly, it really means a lot, man. And, and, you know, taking your time out as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's why I'm loving the songs. I've had them on rotation. And hopefully you'll get the Belfast at some stage. Yes, mate. Well, we're coming there, I imagine, so soon. So there's been only people going, why in Ireland and Scotland? And, you know, so I'll I'll make it. All right, Tom. Well, listen, thanks very much. Um, and say, Good to see you back. And I wish you all yeah. the best with the new stuff. Oh, thanks, mate. Means a lot. Take it easy, Mark. God yes, bless, mate. mate. God bless. Take it easy, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye.